what's up y'all it's your girl chuchi and you know what time it is it's leg day ladies so i'm gonna show you guys what i do on my leg day and of course we're wearing our sup mogul belt this is a fitness wearable water activated belt that is controlled straight from your smartphone so in the next clip i'm gonna show you guys what i do when i go to the gym i just Literally go to the locker room, turn on the water, and just put a little bit of water onto the activating pads. Slap that bad boy on, and you will see at the end of this video the results that it gives me. I just turn it on by clicking um, the button on the connective piece. And literally, it basically just activates your muscles in your core for you throughout your whole workout without having to do another workout so this is the warm up i do this every time i'm using my bands that i got from amazon i will have the link in the bio below and this is my favorite workout to do when i start out um banded hip abductors so i usually do 20 of these each leg three times and I'm just showing you guys um, how to position yourself. You want to make sure you're at like a 45 degree angle. And you bring in that leg up as high as you can with the bands. These bands are no slip bands. I would recommend getting these bands over any other um, bands. So next we're going to do one to the hip thrust. So I always lift up and then expand my legs out. I forgot what it's called. But basically this activates your booty and your hips. And of course, girl, we want that hourglass figure. So we're going to do the little extra, you know, lean out. Okay. So I usually do 15 of these three times with a 15 second rest in between each set. So you guys want to make sure that you're taking a rest, even when you're doing your workout, just so that you'll feel it more. And of course, you don't want to tire yourself. It's just a warm up. So next, we're doing the donkey kick. Make sure your back is straight, like how you see mine is. And you want to raise that back leg all the way up into a, a 90 degree angle. And guys, I am not like a fitness guru or anything. I've literally been only working out for about three months. So if my form is off, forgive me. But this is what I do and this is what works for me. And I strive every day to, you know, fix my form and be as perfected as I possibly can. The last thing we're going to do before we do our squats are the banded side steps. Um, You want to do 20 of these each leg. And lastly, you know, you got to get the squats in. So you want to make sure that your legs are centered with your chest. Your feet are centered with your chest. And you want to be bending down, protruding your butt to the back. You know, I was doing squats wrong for a long time until one of my friends showed me how to do it properly. So this is what I'm doing. And I just want to show you guys these are the proper way to do squats. So do 25 of these three times 15 second rest in between so that's pretty much the end of our warm-up you want to go ahead and do your basic stretches after you do this and it's time for the workouts y'all when i'm in my zone i'm in my freaking zone so let's get into it leg presses 12 reps we're gonna do this four times now i'm doing 54 110 pounds right here literally y'all when i first started i wasn't doing any weight i was straight up just using the bar and then slowly i increased my weight i increased my weight every week and i'm so happy to be where i am now you want to make sure that your legs are even to your um shoulders so shoulder width apart that's how far you want to be and don't forget to take a rest don't overtire yourself you want to do a minute rest in between these reps so i usually don't do these but this gym the new gym that i really liked in miami it's called gymage this gym is so freaking cool i'm going to show you guys at the end of the video but this gym had it and i was super happy so i decided to use it these are hack squats it's basically 
you know just squats but you're not supposed to use this one like this i'm using it for what i wanted to use it for you can probably just do like do like sumo squats instead of doing this but i'll show you guys how to do it a different way in a different video but if you have this at your gym definitely use it it targets your booty to the max so you want to do uh 12 of these i'm doing um 90 pounds so do 12 of these sets three times barbell deadlifts i really like these a lot i feel it in my booty right in the the meatiest part of my butt um really 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 good so as you can see i'm not hitting the floor with my barbell i'm just barely kissing it and then coming right back up and you can see that my knees are still bent the whole time so you want to make sure you're doing that and when you're going up you're squeezing your butt you'll feel this like so god I love the way this feels it's like mm, i'm going my butt yeah but yeah i'm only using 40 pounds and when i first started i was only using 10 pounds so just take your time and don't force yourself um too much and that's something my goal belt is doing its thing right here i was definitely feeling um the pulse is getting a little bit stronger because at this point i was sweating so you know the water activation was really activating at this time <laughs> If you know, then you just know hip thrusts are the worst, but you need them. They're necessary for the gains. So make sure you do it. Even if you feel weird doing this setup at the gym. At first, I didn't do them because I felt weird or I felt like, you know, I'm not putting enough weight. Why am I using, um, you know, this machine? But use it. That's what it's there for. That's what you pay for at your gym you know what i mean while you're doing this make sure that your back is straight and that you're going as low as possible so that you can get that good squeeze when you get it to the top i know it doesn't seem like i'm squeezing but i'm really squeezing really hard right here and at this point i was tired but i had my bad pitch motivation music on bad b and fat but it yo came in a what okay yeah you know it's getting real motivational why when i get tired i just bring myself up and you know manifest um my dream body and that's what the goal is you know leg curl you want to do 12 reps four times listen guys this is my most hated workout i hate doing these but it's great for the lower booty and the back of your legs forgot what they're called and this is my favorite when you see me do these just know it's the end of the workout okay and we're winding it down but this is the way that i've seen the most growth in my legs i do the hip abductor at a regular like easy weight and easy weight for me is like 70 80 pounds so i start off with 70 pounds and i do that 20 times uh twice and then i'll do a medium weight a medium weight for me is like 100 pounds and then i'll do that uh 15 times twice and then i'll do a really heavy weight which is like 120 130 for me right now and i'll do it 10 times once but that little you know what i'm saying pump it out session right there man that booty that booty that booty be fat man So like I said before, stay motivated, stay positive, put on your bad B vibes, manifest your body, stay hydrated, and just think about your body, how good you're going to look at the end of your workout, how good you're going to feel when you see the results of the games. You know what I mean? I had so much more to show you guys, but my parking was up and I was not about to get told. It's Miami Beach. Jimmage, Miami is literally such a vibe. Y'all, I love this gym. I wish they had one in Orlando. But, you know, like, look at the ceiling. Look at the lighting. Like, it was so nice. Everybody in the gym was real cute, real attractive, very much giving zaddy. You know? So, I would definitely go there just to look at the people. <laughs> but, for real though, the gym gave me good vibes and it made me want to work out. I was literally at the gym for two hours it makes no sense but i wanted to stay longer 
but um it was time to go and if you're ever in miami make sure to stop by jimage it's on lincoln um road and you can get a one day free trial if you are a uh, miami resident and the day pass is only 20 dollars, so definitely worth it the bathroom was very nice and very clean the locker room excuse me but yeah also you guys don't forget to purchase your sup mogul fitness wearable belt look at my stomach it's super toned it was on me for two hours the full workout and you can see you can see the abs coming in i didn't even do abs at all so i hope you guys enjoyed the leg day with Chuchi. make sure you like comment and subscribe and turn on them post notifications see you guys next time